Hey guys, today I'm going to start a new series in our video library. If you go to our playlist, you will see that we do have takedown videos. But as an experiment, I tried a Tukarov takedown video, which is 3D. It's actually gaming software. Now I have information uh, below where you can take a look at this gaming software. They do offer some free uh, versions, but also for all of the guns, you have to buy a license. What we want to do is go through and we're going to provide this content to you for free. We bought a license. We want to pass it along to you, but it's going to be 3D takedown videos, which I think is a little bit more exciting than most of the videos out there on taking down your favorite gun. Today I'm going to start with two iconic machine guns, so you're going to really love it. I'm going to film both of them today, but I'm going to break them into two videos, the first being the FG42, and then the second video I'll show you how to take down, I won't show you, but the video will show you how to take down the Sturmgewehr. But before I jump to the video, let me show you something that we just got in. This is actually uh, Randy's project. Thank you, Randy. Uh, we have challenge coins. You remember when we did a video about challenge coins and people in the military said this stuff is just made up for collectors? Probably true. And all of you at Legacy are collectors. So let me show you this coin a little bit up close. So these are uh, good, heavy quality uh, challenge coins like many that you see. And what we're going to do is uh, in 2021, we're featuring the PPK. Every year we'll come out with a different gun. And I'm sure that over time, these will become collector items. That said with a little bit of sarcasm. Uh, but if this is something that you would like, uh, we're sending them free to all of our patrons. Now, there is information, uh, again, in the information below. You can see how to become a patron. But if you're already a patron, we're going to send you a challenge coin as a thank you for supporting our channel. And another thing you can do with these besides collect them is you can start a game with this. Watch. Works perfectly. Now, let's get to what you really want to see, the machine gun. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the Sturmgewehr or MP44, also known as the MP43. Might be a little confusing, but it, d it did develop over 1943 and 44. Uh, this is considered the first assault rifle. Um, after looking at the FG42, remember that paratrooper machine gun, this one actually um, really does... Lost my baby finger, hold on. There we go, got it back. Um, this one does, uh, I think does uh, just as good a job in terms of you have accuracy, you have rounds, uh, a more powerful round. It's actually a shortened eight millimeter. You can see the magazine on this is a lot smaller in terms of the cartridge, uh, but yet it is a, a powerful, accurate cartridge and works well. A little bit lighter, and if you're a power trooper, light, light matters. Um, so this is a uh, MP44. This one is marked right here and you can see that it is MP44. And this is full auto. And if you want to know how to own a machine gun, uh, many of you probably would like to own a machine gun, but just take a look in the information section below. We have a link to a video on how you can own a machine gun. Now, not everybody can own one. There's a lot of steps you can go through. There's an extensive background check. Most people don't need one, but everybody would think that they're cool, uh, especially if you're having a bachelor party. These are a big hit, I know firsthand. Um, but so this is an MP44 made by Irma. Uh, this is the magazine button here, magazine release. Uh, this is the safe and fire lever. And then this button here is the full auto and select fire. Uh, so that's just a brief overview of this uh, Sturmgewehr. You do see that it's stamped metal uh, quickly and inexpensive. I'm not gonna say cheap, it's certainly not cheap, but inexpensively made, uh, but in original condition. And if they are registered machine guns, you can own this. It has to be fully transferable. If you're buying one, look for the words fully transferable. These were certainly very popular. We see them featured in the movie Fury, uh, but also they use them throughout the war and popular after the war. Here's one that was captured uh, in Vietnam uh, so that they did even use these uh, after the war. And as I said, this was the predecessor for all of our modern assault rifles. If you take a look at this action, I'm gonna shut the dust cover and this looks, should look familiar to you. 
grab the bolt. Look, uh, looks a lot like my AR-15 that we use today. This second one we just got in and you'll see that it is marked MP43. It's just an earlier variation with just uh, minor uh, changes. These are replica parts because this gun, the receiver was destroyed. It was full auto. Uh, the receiver was not registered before 1986. And again, watch the video featured below. How can I own a machine gun? It has to have been registered before 1986. This one, uh, they had to destroy the receiver and rebuild a whole new gun, which some people will do if you have a manufacturing license. And it's a complicated process you can't rebuild this gun unless you're licensed to do so by the government, and there's a lot of restrictions. But basically, this is a semi-automatic, so therefore, since it's not a short barrel rifle, um, this can be purchased by anybody uh, who passes a background check. Now, it probably is not legal. This would not be legal in a number of states, the high-capacity magazine. Uh, they certainly are not cheap, but this is semi-automatic. All the parts are original other than the receiver. This is a reproduction of the original, and this is a reproduction, but otherwise it's all original, World War II, now mismatched because the receiver was destroyed and semi-automatic. And these, you don't have to wait the six months or eight months that you would normally have to do to own a machine gun. Okay, so that was just the introductory information about the gun itself. Now let's talk about how to use the takedown video feature. As I mentioned before, this is a 3D takedown video that I think is really cool. And here's the best way to use it. Uh, for most of you, it's probably at just a normal speed, but some of you get a little bored with it, and so you can speed it up. Like, come on, let's get on with it. I get the idea. Other people are actually taking the gun apart. Uh, and, you know, you may not own one of these guns, but on another takedown video, you're actually taking the gun apart, and you want to slow it down. So let me show you how to either speed it up show it down, and of course, at any point, you can push pause. Let's check out the settings. Okay, so when you're watching the video, all you do is run your cursor over the screen, and you will see the settings, which looks like a gear. So go to this symbol, this is a gear symbol, and it says settings. I'm gonna click on that, and you look at playback speed. It's at normal, of course. And then all you have to do to speed it up, you go to 125 or 1.5, or you can slow it down by going to 0.5 or even 0.25. Uh, obviously, when you're all done, just go back to normal and it'll play normally. Hey, I'm an old dude and I figured it out and you can too, I'm sure. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. And if you want a challenge coin, all you have to do is be one of our supporters. Thank you.